Hello, this is Randy McCollum for Imagina Technology. In this video tech tip, I will show you how to load custom decorations into InfraWorks 2021. Within InfraWorks now, you can see I have two component roads with my design feature that I really want to call out here, the roundabout. In an effort to make this more pleasing of a presentation, I've added a few buildings with some custom facades. And along the road, you can see I have, for now, some basic furniture elements, in this case, lighting. Now, of course, I could, I could change the lighting and I could use any furniture element that I want. But what I really want is to draw attention to my roundabout. In an effort to do that, I'm going to place an art installation in here uh, as a 3D element. To actually accomplish that, though, if I go to City Furniture and look at the stock catalog, you can see that an art uh, installation wasn't the intent of InfoWorks. So instead of using one of these stock items, I go to Manage, Style Palettes. Here I can access all of the 3D models that are available in InfoWorks. If I look at the city furniture, you can see nothing in here is really going to suit my needs as an art installation. So if I click the plus sign at the bottom, the dialog opens and gives me the ability to insert any three-dimensional model that I want. Clicking the ellipsis button to bring up another dialog, I can see the available formats which I can bring in. I have 3ds Max, Exchange format. Here's another format for basic 3D object in AutoCAD format, which is ultimately what I'm going to look for. So I'm going to search on the web to try to find an available 3D model and then bring it into my software. After a quick search, I was not able to find a model in FBX format. I was, however, to find a model available to me in 3ds max or dot max format now you might think that this is a problem however if you have the aec collection you'll notice if you scroll down the 3ds max is actually included in the software so you may actually have access to this software and not even know it but right here i found a model that is much better than anything that I could hope to find. All I need to do now is export this model to an FBX format. Once I've exported my model to an FBX format, I can come back to the style palette within InfraWorks, click the add symbol again, and this time I will browse out to find the file and insert it into InfraWorks. At this point, I could change the scale if the scaling is off. I can also scale it using the gizmo when I bring it in. I could change the anchor point, but in my case, the anchor was at the base. When I click OK and give it a name, I now have this asset available to me to bring into my model. So I'll scroll over, zoom in to the center of my roundabout now. And this time I'll create a new piece of city furniture. And here is my new piece of furniture. Looks a little small for the space. So I can actually take this and if I wish, I can even scale it up. But you can see the quality with which the object came in, as well as the fact that with the daylight settings and the lighting effects of InfraWorks, you're going to get realistic shadowing to really help sell your project.
Thank you for watching. Make sure to visit us at our website to see other free resources as well as additional learning materials related to Autodesk and engineering design.